What's up, guys? Piper, we are bringing a little more it's leveling with Piper action. I said I just pretty much pronounced my own name wrong. I just woke up and I, re I actually have like a really sore throat for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Is there a new questionnaire for Horde? There's a lot of co oh Jesus! Why do these coffins have faces on them? Look at that. Jesus cr Oh, that's and spikes. Yeah, they're not coffins. They're fucking. They will kill you. They will actually kill you. People have been people are getting tortured. No wonder they are uh, trying to escape. I don't know. I, I kind of don't blame them anymore. My my tank's actually about to die here. I probably should pay more attention to him other than fucking running to the side rooms and looking at all the the dead faces. The dead faces in the water. What is what, what is that? Is that Game of Thrones? I have so many weird pop culture references just coming in my head 24/7. But uh, I want to start trying to do a few more leveling with the Piper videos a little more frequently. But uh, the issue is, I actually thought like being on a resto shaman would make them pop super quick, but that is just not the case. When I when this BD started, I took off my jumper because it's kind of warm and just threw it on the ground. Immediately, Steve is now laying on my jumper. What is? Why do they do that? Why do animals feel the need to just lay on clothes? I cannot get off it. Move. Get off. It lays on everything I put on the ground. Oh shit! Thanks, Dad. Oh shit! Thanks, Dad. I cannot move jumpers. God damn, he's squishy as fuck. He had rejuves on him and everything. I, uh, it's my, I shouldn't blame him. It's my fault. I was busy moving jumpers. Oh, God. Oh, God, Mr. Tank. The arms warrior takes less damage, however. How much health does he have? I can't look at his health while he's dead. It just says dead. You are dead good, sir. Mustn't have BOAs. Yeah, he doesn't have BOAs. Unless... Oh, he does have BOAs. He's just fucking Squish City. Squish City! Rezzing right now. Sorry, Tank. Sorry, Mr. Tank. Although monk tanks are extremely squished unless they know how to play. Because they have to pop their cooldowns in, in like succession. I played a monk tank for a while. And uh, I never ever had problems with health. Like you can, you can keep yourself alive on a monk tank. Like they're fucking pretty op, pretty opulent. If you know what you're doing. Actually I don't know, maybe not at this level. Maybe not, I'm, I might be talking on my ass. Maybe you need to be like fucking level 50 plus. That you have all your abilities that make you be able just to live for years. I just remember abs absolutely destroying. Absolute destruction. He, uh, he doesn't have too much health. I don't know. I don't know. It's my fault. My fault. I shouldn't be trying to shift the blame. I'm gonna start DPS as well with some wraths. But uh, recently, I've just been kind of looking for another game to play. I've just finished playing Amnesia. Steve, of course, because I started recording a video, has just started crying again. I don't understand why he does that. Um, so I've recently just finished playing Amnesia, and I'm looking for another game to play. And I need your guys' suggestions because I really don't know. I th I was gonna play a game called Among the Sleep, which it's a game that um, it like features you playing as a two-year-old, which I immediately caught my attention because of how different it is from anything I've ever seen. Um, like you play as a two-year-old who's woken up and he's having a nightmare. Like that's that's pretty much efficiently what you're doing. But um, I just and like I was like, man, a nightmare. Like, how much more frightening could a thing be than a nightmare? You know, like you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Like, I, as a game developer, you can create anything you want to do and just explain it away by saying, well, it's a nightmare. You know, um, so I was expecting some extremely scary shit. And like, you're playing as a two-year-old, so obviously everything should be scaring you. And not only that, like, you're you're like going through a house at the start. And, like, you're, you're extremely small because you're a two-year-old. So I'm, like, looking up and you can crawl and shit. And when you're crawling, you're even lower to the ground and there's, like, noises. The atmosphere was pretty good. But I played for about three hours, which I think was actually pretty close to the end of the game. I think the game lasts probably about four, four, four maybe five hours. And I recorded all that, f like, three hours of gameplay. And I was, like, just as I got to the four-hour mark, I was, like, man, this is just not... I, I wasn't scared once. And I wasn't even really scared once when playing Amnesia. But at the same time... Amnesia was still interesting enough for me to keep playing and like be interested in and I was enjoying the, the experience with among the sleep I was just like okay the, the, the being the baby thing has just kind of worn its way out by this two hour mark I've stayed for the other hour to try and like hopefully see if it gets better or you know an actual scare happens but at no point was there like a scare like the only scare in the game was like me coming out of like this swamp village thing that's like you're in a dream world and you come out of a house and there's like a like a lake person like a lady that lives in the lake and she's got giant hair and she's walking away from you like it wasn't like it's it just didn't I don't know how to explain it I just I just wasn't frightened I it just I couldn't have been less scared of anything in my entire life like I literally sat down I was just like oh yeah cool and that, that my let's play this, this this is how the let's play went oh cool yeah um this isn't scary i'm gonna go to the left over here and just grab this thing and 
okay, yeah, sure. Like, that's that's pretty much what I was, So I got to, like, three hours, I'm like, man, I just have to delete all of this, because this is just not... It's not even entertaining to play. It's not going to be entertaining to fucking watch. Jesus Christ. So there's three hours and 20 bucks down the drain, because I had to spend my fucking money. It looked good. It looked good, man. And now I don't trust myself. <laughs> like, I usually don't buy anything. So when I buy a game, I research the fuck out of it, and it looked so good and unique that I was like, man, this is something I've never heard of. It'll be interesting. It was, yeah, I'd give, I'd give that game like a 6 out of 10. Like, it was just not, it was not very, um... Number one, it wasn't scary in any fucking way or at all. Like, not even remotely scary. And then it was, like, um, just boring. Like, you making your way through a dream world, all it is is you collecting certain items and then going back to, like, where you are, going and collecting an item, going back to where you were. And it's just like, man, this is just not, it's not fun. Like, th there's zero game mechanics to keep you interested, which is fine for a scary game if you're being scared, the atmosphere is great, or there's some really good writing, where this game seems to not have any of that. So yeah, I need to, I need something else to play. It doesn't have to be a scary game, by the way. I just like, I usually like scary games and those kind of experiences. Like, I really like Amnesia, I like Daylight, Outlast was fucking fantastic. Stuff like that, really, I really enjoy. But I'm a fan of everything. I'm a fan of pretty much anything and everything. So if you guys have a game that you want me to do a Let's Play of, uh, or a game that you think would be good for a Let's Play, like, it's hard for your... Let's Plays are funny in that sometimes it's better to have a shittier game that's entertaining for a Let's Play than a game that's technically good. Like, for instance, I'd love to Let's Play something like Fallout, you know, 3. Because I like that game. I've never completed the game. I've always just gone and, like, didn't have enough time to finish it. And so I'd love to be able to do a Let's Play of it because that would give me a reason to complete the game and play it a lot. But at the same time, that game is so like vast and so expansive that, and because I haven't, I've never like completed it, I wouldn't know what I was doing, which would probably result in the Let's Play of me doing stupid shit like wandering the fucking desert for seven hours trying to find what the fuck I'm doing. Because that's the kind of shit I do when I'm playing games like that and like Skyrim and stuff like that. I always get lost, I always get confused. I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to be doing. I mean, it's part of the enjoyment. I'm still enjoying it, I'm still killing stuff, I'm still like exploring the land, but it's not good for a Let's Play. Uh, Let's Plays are honestly better when they're kind of either on the rails or you've already played the game before. You know what I mean? I still would really like to do a Let's Play of fucking... Uh, um, Kingdom Hearts, but of course I cannot do it because fucking YouTube, for some reason, copyright claims Kingdom Hearts. I have no idea why. I didn't know, like, Square Enix was that fucking anal about it or some shit, but, yeah, that's the, that, uh, Kingdom Hearts is the only game I've ever tried to do a Let's Play of that got copyright flagged on my channel. Everything else seems to be fine. Everything else seems to be fine, so I'm not too sure what's going on. But that is the end of the dungeon. Meanwhile, Steve's, Steve, I, I took the jump off him, so now he's found a sock to chew on. I can't leave, god damn it! Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you next video. See you later, guys.